It's not a big deal, but we make it such a big deal that yes, those questions become very hard to answer. Am I too old? Am I too out of shape? Am I too busy? Maybe. Hey, just hanging out in my closet with applesauce. I've had a few people... Okay, you're going to wonder why I'm in my closet. It's actually very quiet. It's... I have a window. It's a walk-in closet. I don't have dressers, so all my stuff is in here. It sounds fancy. It's not that fancy. But I do have a window, so I have decent light. This is probably not the best place to film. But it's a nice small area, so the sound is better. And uh, my kids are home and doing stuff and there's noise in the house. So I figured, you know, just film in here and Applesauce likes to hang out in here. And uh, I like it when she's when she joins me on my video adventures. So I've had a number of people reach out to me and say, hey, you know, I've this is actually really cool. They've started following me on social media and they've developed an interest in martial arts. They didn't have it before. And they've developed this interest and they're considering now trying karate or another martial art and they ask me very common questions am i too old to start am i too out of shape to start uh, am i too overweight or underweight am i too inflexible do i need better flexibility or mobility those kind of questions and often the way we answer these questions are you know we answer those questions directly like are you too old well you know, the brain, um, because of neuroplasticity, we can learn a new skill at any age. It doesn't matter how old you are. So you're not too old to learn the skills. If you're worried about getting injured, yeah, as you get older, that might be more of a concern, especially if you have some health concern. If you've got osteoporosis, for instance, osteoporosis, and then you break a bone in class, right? That kind of thing is something to consider. If you're considered about your age, your fitness level, your health, absolutely talk to your doctor or other healthcare provider first and find out if it's safe to do it. But apart from that, just am I too old to start? It's kind of a vague question, but, you know, of course, you're never too old to try something new. We see people of all ages doing amazing things. And yeah, so are you too out of shape? Well, this one, you know, you hear people on both sides of this. You hear people saying, you know, I want to be in better shape before I start martial arts. And then you have other people saying, well, psh, doing the martial art will get you in shape. I think there's truth to both of those things. Like, absolutely, you'll get in, you'll get in better shape as you do the martial art. Being in some kind of shape, decent shape before you start will make it a hell of a lot easier. That is true too. So when I started karate, I was already quite fit. I had good cardio, good stamina. So that part was really easy. It was an easy adjustment. I didn't get gassed out very quickly. My recovery in between classes was quick so I could go as often as I wanted. The only thing that was holding me back was I wasn't used to kicking. And so the, all the kicking exercises, I had really sore hips for the first two, three weeks. You know, I had to work on my flexibility and strength and mobility in my hips. But after that, you know, I got used to it and it got easier. So when you start something new, a new exercise, you're going to hurt in ways that you don't expect. It doesn't matter what it is. There's nothing special about martial arts in that regard. It could be karate. It could be weightlifting. It could be running. I started running regularly in my 20s and it hurt for a long time. It didn't feel... Uh, it didn't come naturally to me. It took me a long time before I could run for half an hour without getting winded. You know, and then when I wanted to start running for longer and longer periods, it took a long time for me to feel comfortable doing it. And so, you know, with any exercise, no matter what, you're going to have those growing pains in the beginning. That's totally normal and to be expected. And of course, the more out of shape, I don't like this idea, like this um, binary thinking about being in shape or out of shape or... Um, you know, that kind of thing. It's being healthy or unhealthy. I don't think that exists. It's all, it lies on a continuum. You could be anywhere along that continuum, being more shape or in better shape or worse shape or whatever. I think it's a better way of looking at it. Um, but if you, if you have a higher level of fitness, it's going to be easier. You're going to recover faster. It won't be as demoralizing when you start. Like if you're used to just sitting all day and you start training in karate, yeah, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. And if you go too often, you might get injured. You might uh, take a long time to recover. It might be hard on your ego because of that. You might feel like, wow, I really suck at this. And it's just that you're not, you don't have that good conditioning yet, but you will get there. You will get there. Absolutely. So there's truth to both sides. 
you know, even just going for walks every day, I think that can help, absolutely can help your fitness level. Uh, it, walking is good cardio and it can help make it easier for starting a martial art. So, you know, something to consider there, but you know, at any fitness level you can start, you can start and you will get stronger. It might be harder at first, it might suck more at first, but you can absolutely do it, whatever your fitness level. Are you too fat? Again, I, I hate the word fat. Uh, it's a three letter, it's a four letter word in our house. It's a three letter word the rest of the time, but I don't like uh, the term. I don't care for fat shaming, that kind of thing. Um, but people who consider themselves fat or, you know, whatever, like, are you too fat to start martial arts? No, fuck no. Like, um, it, it really, I think it depends more on your fitness level than anything, you know? Like if, if you're in good physical fitness and you can be at any size, um, then yeah, you'll be fine, right? And even if you're not, well, you'll get stronger, you'll get better at it. So yeah, any, any size, any weight, you can totally do it. You know, there might be certain considerations, like if you're really, really heavy, it might be hard on your knees, uh, but it might be hard on your knees if you're not heavy, like for me, I I think years of running has left me with really crackly knees. I've always been a bit of a crackly, poppy person. My joints have always been quite noisy, but I feel I get achy in my knees. That was a consideration for me with karate, but actually karate improved it. Something about all the deep stances, the sumo stances, building up muscles in my, in my quads really helped... Um, to, and it helped build up strength in my knees. So, um, you know, knee pain wasn't as much of a concern as I thought it would be, but maybe at a heavier weight it would be. But again, you don't have to go as deep in your stances. You know, depending on the dojo, you don't have to spar or, you, you know, you could um, do more kata, that kind of thing. It really depends on the dojo and the type of martial art. But anyway, are you too busy? Well, I don't know, maybe, uh, you know, we do... Um, need to make time for the things that are important to us. But, you know, sometimes the reality of your life might be that it's just really hard to fit that in. And no shame there, no judgment. Like being a parent uh, with kids, I know the juggle. I know how hard it can be to juggle things when you're juggling the things that your kids are doing with what you're doing. And sometimes you have to put your stuff on hold. You have to sacrifice your stuff because you're caring for someone else, right? That's just part of life. So, yeah. Um, but I think the problem is is that when we're asking these questions, am I too old? Am I too out of shape? Am I too busy? Uh, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're making it such a big deal. We're looking at starting something new as such a big deal. And part of that, I've talked about this in other videos, talking about our um, lizard brain and how, you know, whenever we're trying something new, we get this fear response. And that's totally normal because our lizard brain doesn't want us to stand out, to look stupid, to make mistakes, that kind of thing. So that's going to be part of it. You have that hesitation because it's something new and you've never done it. But I think a big part of this is some underlying all or nothing thinking where we think if I'm starting something new, I have to go like all in. It's all or nothing. It's go big or go home. If I'm starting a new martial art, it's not just trying a class. It's starting, signing up, committing to however many classes a week, committing to belt tests and tournaments and, oh, am I going to get injured? And, oh, do I, am I going to look stupid? Am I going to enjoy performing in front of people? And so we make it this big thing. And I think we expand the timeline and go so far ahead and think, well, I have to commit to this then for 10, 20, 30 years because no one likes a quitter. You know, and there's this, oh, so much pressure that we're putting on ourselves with this question. It's not just about starting. It's about taking on a whole new lifestyle, right? And I think that's what's happening with that question where it's really hard to answer. It's like, well, at my age, am I too old to start karate? Well, yeah, if you're looking at this as a massive commitment, time commitment, financial commitment for, you know, however long as this huge thing, of course, it's going to be hard to answer that question. Maybe you are too old. I don't know. Am I too out of shape? Well, if you're looking at it as I have to go this many days a week, I have to compete in tournaments and, you know, all of that pressure on yourself. Yeah, where you're at now, it might feel like it's just too hard. It's too hard to do it. Maybe you are too out of shape right? Or am I too busy? Well, if you're looking at it that way, it's such a huge commitment, of course, for something you've never done before and you don't even know if you like it, it's going to seem too big, right? And that's the thing. You've never tried it. You don't know if you like it. So what I suggest is shrinking that timeline, 
bringing it down to just one thing, one action, bringing it down to like one small thing that you're doing now. And that is, can you try a class? Many dojos, you can try a class for free. Are you too old to try one karate class? Probably not. Are you too out of shape to try one jujitsu class? Probably not. Like it might suck, you know, it might be hard to do, but are you too X, Y, or Z to just try it? To just do that one class with no obligation? You do not have to commit to it. You do not have to sign up. Maybe at the end of it, you know, you go home and you think about it. Do I actually like this? Is this something that I want to do? Do I feel good doing this? Is this something that I think will help me achieve all of my fitness goals and health goals? Well, is it in, in alignment with all those things? Is this something that I'm willing to commit to? Will it fit into my schedule? Is it financially viable? Right? But ask those questions after you've given it a shot. So when you break it down into this one thing, it's just trying it. And if you don't like it, there's no shame in saying, eh, not for me. It's not a big deal. But we make it such a big deal that yes, those questions become very hard to answer. Am I too old? Am I too out of shape? Am I too busy? Maybe. Maybe if you're making it this huge commitment and, oh, I have to become a high level athlete and win medals and, you know, and it may not seem like you're thinking that way, but chances are, if you're struggling with this question, you're making it bigger than it needs to be. You're not just thinking about that one class that you can try. You're thinking that, oh, well, if I try a class, I have to sign up. I have to do this. You know, I don't want to look like a failure. I don't want to, or I go in there, I try a class and I'm going to get all this pressure from the dojo owner that if I don't sign up, I'll feel stupid. I'll feel like I'm wasting their time. And there's all this stuff that we wrap up in this question. And it's really so simple. Can you try one class? Can you just try one class? You know, if it's, should I start going to the gym? Same thing. You don't have to commit. Maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you don't like the vibe, the atmosphere. Try one class. For people who struggle with starting a YouTube channel or a, po a podcast or something like that, they're making such a big deal out of it. And I did this too. And I've done this with so many steps along the way in building the Karate Shrimp. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, starting a YouTube channel, it's not just, can I film a quick 10 second video on my phone and upload it straight to YouTube? Yeah, I can do that. It'll take one or two minutes total. Does it have to be good? Will it be good? Probably not. Does it have to be? No. Just doing that, I'm starting a YouTube channel. But I think what people are thinking is, oh, can I start a YouTube channel? Is it too late for me? Do I have time for it? Blah, blah, blah. Do I have the skills? They're looking at all the things that they have to do. They have to set up their channel. They have to have nice channel art. They have to have a good description. They have to have all the beautiful equipment, get all the tech. They have to have good editing software on and on. And oh, and I have to have this, I have to have time for this. And when am I going to film? Because I got work and I got this and this and this. And I have to commit to this for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Like, no, you fucking don't. You can just press record, film some shitty video, upload it. You're a YouTuber now. Okay, it's that simple. It's that simple. You started the process. So break it down into something super, super small. And then it's really easy to answer that question. Can you try it? No shame if it's not for you. No shame if you say, eh, I'm done. Totally fine. But be willing to try it and see, maybe, maybe you want to try this new thing. And then the more opportunities we give to ourselves this way, like, oh, I want to try this, but I'm scared to start because, oh my God, oh my God, just try it. See if you like it. You know, it might take you down a path you never expected. Open up opportunities that you never expected. Or you might just, it might just help build your confidence in trying new things and not worrying about failing at it or sucking at it or people judging you for not continuing with it. Like you can do whatever you want in your life. You know, try one new thing. Eh, it didn't work out for you. Try something else. Right? And then you build up that confidence and realize it's no big deal to try something, not like it, move on. It's really no big deal. So if you're struggling with this question with martial arts or anything, shrink it down into the smallest action right now. Can you try this thing? Can you just start? It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to love it. Make a decision after. Assess it after you've done it. But small step. And then you can get off your butt and try it and see if it's the right fit for you.